Welcome to Coastal Bend College Spring 2022 Commencement. This is our 10 a.m. ceremony. And all the graduates are in the auditorium getting ready to start the procession. And hopefully you will enjoy today's streamed live stream from Coastal Bend College Beeville campus at the Peter S. Marichek Physical Fitness Center. On deck is the 2 p.m. ceremony today. Same location at coastalbend.edu slash live. Enjoy the ceremony and congratulations 2022 CBC graduates.
traffic jam. The traffic jam. Yeah. Okay. Oh,
I love you too. <laughs> you know, I want to start by quoting a comedian, show my age, but if y'all remember Billy Crystal? He said, had a skit he did on Saturday Night Live and said, You look marvelous. It is so great to see finally a full house back at Coastal Bend College commencement ceremony where we are going to celebrate the 2022 spring commencement ceremony with you. Uh, before I begin, I would like to uh, remind everyone that there are three exit areas in the unlikely event of an emergency. There is one here and two back here. I am training to be a stewardess when I am done with my being president. Um, <clears throat> we, we would ask that you silence your phones, um, but we encourage you to take as many pictures as you'd like. And we also encourage you for, we know some family members cannot make it or some are at work, please text them this address, coastalbend.edu slash live. Maybe they're at work, maybe they're caring for a loved one, but they can still watch the graduation ceremony. <clears throat> it is an immense honor to have you all here today. We all come together to celebrate the accomplishments of the spring 2022 class. This graduation, this graduating class earned over 490 degrees, certificates, and occupational skill achievement awards. Let's give them a round of applause. Congratulations. <laughs> to paraphrase the Dalai Lama, despite difficulties, Always keep optimism. You can overcome these difficulties. The mental attitude itself will bring inner strength and self-confidence. Try to keep these words in your mind as you go forward and you start new careers and maybe continue down the path of further education. You are, are our next generation of medical professionals, lawyers, teachers, law enforcement officials, business officers, business owners, engineers, who knows? You could become a mayor. I would like to take a second to introduce uh, the stage party. Um, I will introduce them. Please hold your applause to the end as we uh, introduce the, the stage party. Uh, first, we have Trustee Ms. Velma Elizalde, Trustee Ms. Marcy Flynn, Board Chair Victor Gomez. Board Secretary, Mr. Carol Losey. Board Vice Chair, Eloy Rodriguez. Trusting Mr. Jerry Sanchez and Mr. Massengill, who could not be with us today. We are also joined by our guest speaker, Mayor Cynthia Carrasco from Alice. We also have Dr. Patricia Rehack, the Provost. Dr. Kayla Jones, Dean of Student Services and Accessibility. Mark Secor, Dean of Transfer and General Education. Luanda Hernandez, Dean of Nursing and Allied Health. Let's give them a round of applause. We also have a special student on the stage today with us who will lead us in the invocation in just a moment. Uh, her name is Valerie Quinta. At this time, I would like to call Ms. Quinta to the stage, to the microphone actually, to um, give the invocation. And she is the CBC student and president of Kappa Chi. She will lead us in the invocation, so everyone please rise, take your covers off, and please remain standing through the national anthem and through the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. Hello. Welcome students and families and faculty to graduation day here at Coastal Bend College. I'm grateful to give the honor to give an opening benediction for this year's commencement. And as we gather today in celebration for this great milestone for each and every graduate here, 
Um, we give, we want to give thanks to the Lord for his great love and his great faithfulness um, for all that he has done for all of us. Now let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, today we celebrate and give you thanks for every graduate here. We thank you for all of our professors and faculty who have dedicated their lives to educating each one in order to make this great achievement happen. And thank you for leading them in and out of their education and for keeping them safe and giving them the strength to finish these years of hard work. And I pray that they will enjoy their faith, their achievements with each other and their family and their friends always. And Lord, as we dedicate this celebration to you as a whole, we thank you for leading and guiding us through all that we have faced and continue to endure. Please bless us now as we celebrate and mark this special day. Thank you for all this. And thank you for all making all this possible, for you are the God of the impossible. Amen. so that others may continue their success as well. Succession planning is a part of all of who you should be. For your great now, you're going to be even better. And then you have others to, to bring along behind you. So uh, I will end with just a simple prayer that you go out, you do the best, use what you learn, make yourself better, and then come back to Postman College and proclaim it and brag about it. Thank you. Have to. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. You know, as a parent and family member of a graduate, I, I, this is kind of a special ceremony for me today because my daughter's graduating. So, parents, I'm as excited as you are to see our graduates here. I had one graduate last week. 
um, from law school. Um, but the thing I think that we've learned from what you all had to endure with the pandemic is that for many people, you know, we had to defer dreams. Um, but deferred dreams are still dreams. They're still goals. And I, I want to share, we have our, our guest speaker is, that, is a person just like that. She's going to share a little bit of her story. Her dream was deferred for a little while. But I want to share a story with you that came to my attention the other day. This is a great story. I hope you uh, will indulge me for just a second. Um, this story is of Fred Rose. Uh, Fred um, was a sophomore at Texas A&M University. He, uh, this was a few years ago, by the way. He received news while he was in college that his father had lung cancer. At that point, he had to make a decision. He chose to stop college. He decided to take care of his parents for the next 18 years. He managed four different story, uh, store businesses during his life. And he always felt like, you know, something was missing. He needed to go back to college. Being a single parent who raised his two kids, he felt that it was impossible to think he could go back to college. He told us that he ran into an old friend, Yvonne Thomas. He worked with her years back at uh, HEB. She asked him, why don't you go back to college? Turns out, she worked for Coastal Bay College. She helped him as much as she could to get him started to pursue his degree. On his first day back, he got there a little early, sitting down. The students came into the class and said, hi, sir, we're going to be in your class. He said, no, I'm a student just like you. Today, he is 57 years old, and his dream, his goal that was deferred, is now coming to fruition. Today, he is receiving his associate's degree in science. After graduation, he is pursuing his master's degree in culinary arts. Mr. Robles, would you be standing? Please be recognized. And now you know why this is the most wonderful time of the year for us at CBC. It is my honor today to introduce our keynote speaker, Cynthia Carrasco. She's a CBC alumnus and she's the mayor of the City of Alice. Ms. Carrasco, who is currently the mayor of the City of Alice, is in her 22nd year in the real estate business and has made a career of serving her community. She has served on the Alice City Council for two years. She worked as an LVN from 2001 to 2009. Early in her career, she worked over 17 years in the grocery business where she earned a supervisor position over 20 stores in San Antonio. She opened the CC Realty Group, it's an LLC, in 2015, and it's a real estate firm there in Alice. Ms. Carrasco received the Realtor of the Year Award in 2014 and 16 by the Alice Echo News Journal. She's been the treasurer of the Aggie Moms Club and sat on the board of directors for the Corpus Christi Association of Realtors. Ms. Carrasco has held several titles with the Alice Board of Realtors, including president. It is our honor to invite to the podium a former CBC student, just like you all, and current mayor of Alice, Mayor Cynthia Carrasco. Today. As I sat down to write this up, 
are remunerated in the education and its importance. I have trouble sometimes. I say, you can't hear me. So. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. As I wrote this, I, uh, I remembered a quote by Malcolm X that came to mind. He wisely said once, education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. I stand before you today, not only as the mayor of the city of Alice, but as a fellow graduate of the Alice campus of the Costa Bend College. I sat where you sit today. As I sat there, I was half excited, half nervous about the world beyond. I wondered, what's next? Where do I go? And how do I begin to navigate this new journey? It wasn't until after I had taken those steps towards answering those questions that it became clear just how much having the credentials and the education made starting my career easier. You too will take those first steps towards answering those same questions. You'll reach out and apply to different entities, and in time, you will find the door to your future. For me, my path was a winding one, which evolved as my goals, ambition, and family also evolved. The future is always in motion, and what we do today helps shape the picture we see along the horizon. The one constant you can count on, as I did, will be your education. Who would have thought that I would one day be a nurse, a business owner, a city councilwoman, and now mayor of the great city of Dallas? My journey began with humble beginnings. I was born to, a mili to military parents who later parted ways but even within that turbulence, there was wisdom. I am grateful to have been raised by a strong and caring mother. As a, single, as a single mother, I know that her particular road wasn't an easy one, but she always managed. Following my graduation from high school, I briefly attended college, but would come to place my dreams on hold as I took the biggest blessing and role in my life, becoming a mother. Like, like my mother before me, I found myself in the role of a single parent, and I knew that my journey would be difficult without formal education. It was this revelation that ultimately led me to become a nurse and a licensed realtor, while also working, marrying again, and seeing my small family become a blended family of six children. The opportunities gained through my education and hard work has been key to my life successes, from my role as an independent business owner to my service to the community as a mayor. It is my hope that some of you will also become a part of your community. I hope to see y'all as future community leaders, business owners, or business professionals. As you start this journey, never forget to serve with honor, integrity, and to leave your mark wherever your journey may lead you. However, most of all, whenever your road take, wherever your road takes you, remember to always leave the place better than you found it. If you take this approach, you will be rewarded with more than you can imagine. Always remember that nothing is easy in life. At least nothing worthwhile. But the fruits of that labor will be worth the efforts and hard work you put into it. You will be faced with many of life's challenges, but remember that with your degree, skills learned, and a healthy dose of self-belief, you can get through anything. Today you have accomplished a big step in your journey through life, and with it, you, you have opened the doors to many great future opportunities. Always aim for more and better opportunities in life. Never settle, always know your worth. Today, you have earned a degree that no one can ever take away from you. Today, you stand upon the foundation which your, your future will be built. 
like a painter's canvas, it is up to you to fill it with life, color, vibrancy, and meaning. The future is yours to shape, so go forth and build something beautiful. Thank you so much, and blessings to you. Congratulations, graduates, and your parents. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. At this time, I would like to ask Dr. Rehack to come to the podium, please. Many of our graduates are wearing stoles and cords today to represent their accomplishments and memberships in various honor societies and student groups. Students wearing red, white, and blue stoles are veterans of a United States Armed Forces Division. Pennsylvania <laughs> College wants to offer special recognition to show the college's respect, appreciation, and gratitude for our veteran students' service to our country. And if you're a veteran in the audience, you may please stand as well. Would you please stand and be recognized? Students wearing gold stoles and tassels are members of the Phi Theta Kappa International Honor Society, which recognizes academic excellence. Will all the Phi Theta Kappa members please stand and be recognized? are in high school and part of CBC's dual credit program. At this time, I ask that all of our high school dual enrollment students please stand so we can all applaud your outstanding achievements. the distinction of honors, high honors, or highest honors to students receiving associate degrees that have earned cumulative grade point averages of 3.5 or higher. Will all of our students graduating with honors please stand. The CBC faculty, it is now my honor to certify the candidates for certificates and degrees. I confer upon each of these graduates the respective cert certificate and degree for which you have been recommended upon successful completion of all requirements, and I offer you my sincere congratulations. Graduates, it's now time to take the stage for the presentation of certificates and degrees. First row, exit this way, the rest of you can be seated. While they're making their way here, I would like to just announce that our marketing and public team will be taking stage photos and we'll have them available on Facebook within the next couple days. They're free to download. Please get it often and many times. Share with your family.
Solomon Bernaski. Regino Tomas Benavides. <laughs> Danielle Rayan Bourne, Honors PTK. <laughs> Mason Duane Brown. Jasana Deborah Ann Burleson. Ivan Elina Campos. Haley Marie Garamal. Maydeen Lorelei Cardenas with honors. <laughs> Brianna Sanet Carrillo. <laughs> Rita Nicole Castillo. Haley Lavon Castro. <laughs> Ember Rose Cavazos. <laughs> Nathan D. Charles, PTK, High Honor. Alisa Alana Contreras. Jared Kirsten Craig. Davin Love Cruz. Juliana Rose Espinosa, high honor. <laughs> Celeste Giselle Esquivel. <laughs> Noah Luke Estrada, high honor. Peter 
Sandra Ray Flores. Jasmine Flores. Alexandra Garcia, highest honor. <laughs> Estela Garcia. <laughs> Manuel Joaquin Garcia. Audrey Lynn Garza. <laughs> Jonah Samuel Helista. <laughs> Avia Elise Gonzalez. Mary Torres Gonzalez. Salissa Eva Gonzalez. Juan Francisco Gonzalez the third. <laughs> Arnold Gonzalez the third. <laughs> Ashley Nicole Guerrero, PTK. <laughs> Randy Ray Hernandez, high honors. Lily Ann Hoggard. <laughs> Tyler Ian Clayback, highest honors BTK. Michael Kaliba. <laughs> Jimmy Wayne Jackson, BTK. <laughs> Leanna Trinity Jimenez. Macy K. Lanaki. <laughs> Elijah Jared Lissetio. <laughs> Tanya Lynn Lillick. Larissa Longoria. <laughs> Taryn Mercedes Longoria. <laughs> Mia Guadalupe Lozano, I honor.
Amber Rose Martin, highest honors PTK. Grace Erin Martinez. Marisol Martinez. Gabriela Nasaria Moya, high honor. Florecita del Carmen Nava, honors. Nava. Aaron May Nelson, PTK. Asia Victoria O'Brien Molina. Viridiana Olivares Castillo. Humberto Lee Pais, High Honors PTK. Carolina Parker. Ashley Elaine Patterson, honors. <laughs> Tiara Perez Lopez. Daniela Andrea Quesada. Mireya Ramirez Garza, honors. Andrea Corinne Rivera. Kerima Yulisa Rivera. Victoria, Virginia Rivera, Washington. Jaden Nicole Robinson, highest honor. Fred Robles.
Nathan Andrew Rodriguez. Lucy Rose Ruiz. Miguel Angel Zanaglia. <laughs> Jacob Michael Sandella. I own it. Zachary Joseph Secret. Julianne Guajardo Sepulveda. <laughs> Stephanie Ray Serna. <laughs> Tristan Arian T. BTK. Alexander Thompson, high honor. <laughs> Jocelyn Torres. Alejandra Lea Trevino, <laughs> Joseph Christopher Valdez, high honor. <laughs> Alicia Marie Van Lu. Isela Vasquez. Victoria Velasquez. Eliana Marisol Vidal, highest honors PTK. Elias Daniel Vilches. Jasmine Renee Villapando. Jerry Kyle Wallace. Asia Keyshawn Wheeler, highest honor. Sierra Michelle Zapata, high honor. Carissa Nicole Zotter, highest honor. Ayana and Alamio. That's Olivia. Derek Garcia.
Christina, Emily, Mika, PTK. Austin Raul Pacheco. Gerardo Rodriguez. Nayeli Elizabeth Vasquez. Felicia Joe Ferreal, PTK. David Chapa. Travis Joseph Gomez Jr. Honors. Jose Maria Cano. Nathan Christopher Benavides, highest honor. Ashley Nicole Garcia. Melvin Roy Shanklin. Clarissa Lorena Cruz. Tracy Diane Carpenter, highest honor. Stephanie Lynn Garza, high honor. Kevon Rashad Moore, Jr. I think I had more fun doing that than I'm supposed to. But, um, I want to just say something that maybe most of you may not realize. Um, our dual credit students who have the light blue stoles on them. What makes what they do a little bit more special is many of these students walked across this stage before they've even graduated high school. That's pretty impressive. Approaching the final portion of today's commencement ceremony, uh, I think uh, we would be remiss if we did not thank all of the college staff who've planned um, and executed today's commencement. Um, please join me in uh, applauding them and, and setting this up for us and appreciating the work that they do. And now, graduates, please rise. It is time to move your tassels from the right side to the left side. If you ever forget which side your tassel goes on, simply remember that you wear it on the left side over your heart to remind you of your beloved alma mater, Coastal Bend College. Graduates, you may be seated.
I'd like you to think of today as a new beginning um, for each and every one of you. Um, all of us wish our sincerest congratulations, and all of us wish you a successful and pros prosperous and meaningful future. Remember, we're always here at Costa Bend College for you. You are now officially alumni of CBC, and part of the Titan family, a network that will support your endeavors every step of the way. Congratulations, class of 2022. Benediction. And as we prepare to go on our way, we'd like to leave you with our special little motto. Remember, success happens here. All right, let's play. Let's pray to be dismissed. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Father, I pray your blessings will follow these graduates as they find new beginnings. May your gentle hand guide them in the decisions they make. May their hearts and minds always reflect your love and truth, and may hope be a light within them each day. We ask all this in the glorious name of Jesus, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Ms. Puentes. Please, uh, those of you in the stand, please remain seated as we have our the stage party uh, exits and then our students and we have a recession line up here. Thank you all, and this concludes our ceremony.